guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel! Han and Kai! So today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is What are the latest requirements upon entering in Philippines? Especially if kasama mo uuwi ng Pilipinas ang iyong foreign partner or your kids. So yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon sa ating vlog. So the number one requirements that you need to provide or you need uh, to save is fill up in the e-travel registration card. So you need to click the e-travel in Google. You can use your phone or laptop. Pero for me, mas bet ko ang, ang cellphone. Mas easier siya guys fill up an. And please don't forget na then I free link or free website po ito. And if ever na napunta kayo sa may babayaran, then wag po kayong magpa loko dahil free po ang e-travel. Hanapin niyo lang sa Google at i-type ang e-travel. And fill up niyan guys. Mandatory yan guys sa lahat ng uuwi ng or babalik ng Pilipinas. So ang e-travel guys ay uh, replacement siya ng arrival and departure card. Na it was handwritten before na ngayon ay digital na. So it, was a, uh, it is a mandatory to all na uuwi at lalabas ng bansa sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, you need to fill up that form online. So, the number two requirements in case that they look for this is your vaccinated. So, bring your vaccinated form or vaccinated card. In case they are looking for this, so you have a document na maipakita. Paano naman kung wala kang vaccine? So, better provide ka ng antigen test. Pero sa mga nabasa ko din naman, hindi na, uh, hindi na hinahanap yung vaccination. Kung meron ka lang din naman na vaccine, bring it in case, di ba? For your assurance as you are traveling. The next document that you need to provide is your, of course. So, if you are a Filipino, Philippine passport. Then, if you are a foreigner, then your foreign passport. So, what if kasama mo yung hobby mo or your foreign partner na uuwi ng Philippines? Para mabigyan siya guys na uh, they call it balikbayan privilege or para mabigyan sila ng one year visa provide a marriage certificate in PSA. So, bring it guys and show it to the immigration officer para uh, uh, when they ask this person or your foreign partner, mabigyan siya guys ng one year balikbayan privilege. Lalo na kapag kasama nyo yung mga foreign partner nyo. And what if kasama nyo din yung anak nyo? Yung mga kids nyo? Then provide a, tapos foreign passport holder sila, di ba? Hindi sila Philippine passport. So provide a PSA birth certificate para mabigyan din sila ng Balikbayan privilege, one year visa. So what if naman guys, hindi mo kasama yung foreign partner mo? O, siya lang yung uuwi or siya lang yung magbibisit sa'yo sa Philippines. Ano ang dapat niyang gawin? So, if, you're, if your foreign partner will go to Philippines alone, Sila ay mabibigyan guys ng 30 days free visa upon arrival sa Philippines. So meron silang 30 days. And 
if your partner, foreign partner, wants to extend or your husband or your foreign wife wants to extend their stay in Philippines longer than 30 days, two months, two months. three months, like what happened to my husband when he visited me last year in Philippines for four months, next stay in the Philippines, guys. So we process his uh, visa. We paid for his visa and uh, you just only need to go to near uh, immigration office near sa city kung saan ka nakatira. So kami, we are living in Manila. So we do it in Manila. <laughs> and we have a blog as well na uh, on how to process this. Meron kaming blog dito. Uh, just click the description below. Si-share ko din dun guys kung paano mag-process ng extension ng kanilang visa sa Philippines. We already processed this and we already have the blog. Just click and check in our description below para mapunta kayo dun sa blog na ginawa namin din before ni Javi. So, yan lang guys ang requirements when entering the Philippines. So, ulitin natin guys. Ano ba ang requirements? E-travel? So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Passport, Philippine passport, foreign passport, vaccination card. And that's it. <laughs> so, para mabigyan ka ng free village, balik bayan, free village, uh, your partner or your kiddos, provide a marriage certificate PSA or birth certificate PSA. So, yan lang po ang latest requirements for Philippines when entering. And please note that the e-travel is free for everyone. And it is mandatory to fill up this form online, okay? We already prepared or made the video of e-travel. Just go to this link or just go to this vlog and watch how to fill up this form online. So guys, thank you again for watching our vlog. Hope that you get ideas here on the next thing you need to do when you are planning to return to Philippines soon. Please don't forget to click the notifications bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lalo na kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, kindly subscribe as well. And thank you. And if you have some comments or questions, just comment down below and we will try to answer your queries. So thank you guys and have a safe trip and enjoy.